My house has gone up for sure, but get out of my freaking pocket. How about that? <laughs> Hi, we're here at Daybreak asking people about tax increases in Utah. Okay, since 2015, in the last three years, which of these taxes do you think have been increased? I would say property tax. Okay, any others? Maybe tourism tax. Okay, mm -hmm. two for two. Okay. Any others? Uh, gas. What would you say if I told you that all of these have been increased wow. in the last three years? Terrible. I would be surprised. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. Yeah. Well, they're making a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> know, right? Yeah. Isn't that crazy? Anything else you would say about that? Um, I want to know where the money's going to. Oh, oh wow, all, all of them? them. <laughs> oh, I wouldn't think phone taxes. I know, would have gone right? Up. I didn't think that. Uh, it sucks. We'll yeah. just say that. It's, yeah. Yeah. It's challenging for you know those who struggle. Yeah. You know, just trying to live day to day. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel about that? It's not good. Um, I understand reason for some things, but definitely not others. That's not insane to me. Yeah. That's really sad, actually. Yeah. Yeah. All of them. Wow. Yeah. Hey, good job. <laughs> and what would you what would you say to that? How do you feel about that? I think you're just everyone's just so numb to it happening. It just nobody cares anymore. Yeah. It's gonna happen. Since 2015, the state legislature has touched all the taxes that we have in the state of Utah. We've seen an increase in property tax by $268 million. We've seen sales taxes go up. We have seen a cut in the income tax, but it's been a, a limited cut that most people aren't going to see or recognize as a cut in their pocketbook. It was more done to make Utah look good on a, a broad scale. So the legislature has done a lot with taxes, and most of it's been increasing. When reviewing tax policy, it's important not to look at the individual tax increase in isolation, but to review the entire context. Utahns don't need to be paying another 10 cents at the gas pump, which would result in a 33% tax increase. And if this tax were to pass, Utahns would be bearing through over half a billion dollars in new taxes just in the past few years. Since 2015, the state legislature has increased the gas tax by five cents per gallon, but they've also put in an inflation index on our gas tax, meaning as the price of gas increases, the tax on our gas is going to increase. It could increase by 10 cents over the next, however long it takes for gas to increase in price. We're already paying nearly 50 cents per gallon of taxes. They're just going to increase it that much more as we continue to look at how to fund roads. So in the last three years, the state legislature has increased the property tax by $268 million. They did so by $75 million in 2015, and in this last session, increased taxes by $193 million. Recently, sales tax rates in Utah have just seen a major jump. We used to have an average of about 6.1 to 6.2% for our sales tax in the state of Utah. We're now seeing many of our counties be over 7% in the sales tax they charge. Weber County now has a rate of 7.1%. Salt Lake County, 7.10%. Salt Lake City itself, 7.6% sales tax rate. Sales tax rates are climbing in the state of Utah because it's the tax that nobody notices, that nobody thinks about. Since 2015, it hasn't been just income tax, not just property taxes, not just sales taxes that have been changed. We've also seen increases in the different fees and taxes that we pay in the state of Utah. 16 million on our telephone bills to pay for a communications network. $5 million on hotel fees that are paid here in the state of Utah. $4 million on alcohol. We continue to tax and we continue to look for ways to raise money again. We need to look at ways on how to better use the money that's already here. $16 billion budget, we can do great things with that. Utah state budget has ballooned by over $2 billion in the past few years. Just this year alone, there was an over $800 million surplus and hardly any of it was returned to taxpayers. Utah's budget currently has enough funding to adequately provide for K-12 public education, but unfortunately the budget acts as a leaky sieve. Utah can continue to raise a variety of taxes, but a lot of that funding will end up in other places in the budget. For example, just in the past fiscal year, 
$815 million was taken out of the education fund and given to higher education. Utah has to prioritize its current funding and look at reducing some of the current government programs and pork projects so that public education can receive the funding that it deserves. In Utah, government spending is going up. Cost of living is increasing. Housing prices are increasing. What isn't increasing are our wages. Too many families, too many individuals are paying more but not making enough to keep up with those increases. 